Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, I finally got my Light Mona to max level. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough Monas to make her Evil 3. I'm short, I think, three, mo three more Monas to, to actually do that. Um, but I'm very, very close. Her, her stats are pretty good right now. Um, you know, definitely not as good as if, if you Evil 3 her. She gets like 3k more health. Um, like, I think two, 200 more defense, which, which is actually, actually quite a lot, because it's like... It's basically like a 10% increase. Um, so yeah, that's definitely pretty important. So what, what we're going to do is I wanted to do just some, uh, you know, initial testing before I before I try her out. She's eventually going to be on my on my team for um, for B10. I'm going to try to use a lot of uh, light monsters to, to, to do B10. Um, and possibly, like, I think for now, since my Dark Gatito is no longer built with uh, any sort of defensive stats, I, I don't think he's going to be able to survive in B10. So I'm going to try to use the use the Light Mona, use some Light Monsters instead to, to, to farm B10. So we're going to do some tests. We're, I'm going to try it with, um, without my Dark Gatito. And I'm thinking of using one more Nuker. Hmm, I don't really have another nuker. Because most of the monsters are going to be focusing her, right? And she has high defense. I have a passive healer, which means that um, passive healer is going to be healing her um, quite a lot. And since she's, she's mainly built with defense and not high HP. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put in one more... Um, Maybe an armor breaker could be good. Actually, actually, wait. Maybe even the Dark Gatito is not in any real threat because because there's someone tanking the damage. All right, let's just try this out. Holy shit, she's getting she's getting freaking wrecked. But she's also healing back quite a lot. I think if I had two light monsters it would it would actually work out pretty well. Yeah, she has really good self-sustain. Just just look at this. <laughs> she's healing like she, like with the with the dark July healing her, she's healing like 40 to 50% of her HP every single turn. I think this definitely this definitely works. And she hits pretty hard with her second skill. That was like cuz she's not evil 3, so it doesn't hit that many hits. I think that was like 11k or something. Wait, why do I have this on? Okay, she's dead. <laughs> I need two light monsters. I can't. I can't just uh, do it with one. Maybe if I had her, um, if I if I had her at evil three, maybe she would have survived that hit. I think I'm fucked, because I, I don't have enough sustain to beat this boss. Alright, th this is not a good team. I, I, I blame Dark Gatito, actually. I don't know, I was thinking of like, you know, if I had like two light monsters, if for example I had my Light July, um... I do have a light July, but I don't have her at evil three either. I only have it at evil one because I spent I used all my Julys to rebirth for the Monas. I think the ideal team is to use three light monsters, and uh, is she, will she be able to survive? No, she's gonna she's gonna melt instantly. Hmm.
I think I already have enough support for her. I think she's just too squishy. I think I can get this to 6,000 maybe. I could actually build two. Like if I if I had two, and um, if I had two light monas, I could actually do that. Hmm. I don't have any friends with another another light mona. Guess what I could do. It's not gonna work. It has to be another light monster, or else she gets focused by everyone. I just need to put in like one tanky light monster to, to split the damage. All right, I'll use this guy's light Shiva. Holy shit, what the fuck? What. The. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, alright, alright. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna use him to take, to split the third, third damage in half. Um. That is not right. That is very, very wrong. Yeah, if I had two light monsters, their damage would be split. I think if I used two light monas, I could probably make the runs pretty fast. Maybe not as fast as, you know, with this guy's Light Shiva, but like... It'll definitely be faster than just using my Dark Atito. Damn, there's so much damage. I need, I probably need to start raising my light Victoria as well. I think that 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 could definitely work. If I use my Dark July and um, use the light Victoria, I think with like three three uh, three defense gems, three defense gem guard set, just like not or what's it called? Um, no wait, guard, it's not guard, it's a uh, defense set, whatever the fuck it's called. You guys might have noticed I, I said guard because it was uh, the, the, the set for defense and guard in Summoner's War was, was called guard, or for defense was called guard. I get mixed up sometimes, alright? I played that game for too long. This game is pretty much the same game. But like newer. I think if I had two light mon if I had two light monas, I could I could do this. I could do something similar. I could I can do the exact same thing I'm doing right now. If I just had two light monas. Cause he's kind of the same monster. Like, if you think about it, the light Shiva is like he's got self-sustain on first skill. And he's got a... he's got a HP aggression nuke on his second skill, so basically he's just... He's kind of the same thing, but like with more damage, with much much more damage. It could actually work, you know, like if, if I just use two light monos. I think my July is the only one in danger of dying here. 
Um, in the normal levels, they're they're definitely not going to be focusing my July, but on the boss level, I need to have enough damage to kill the boss fast before anything bad happens to my July. You know what? Be I think I think the best comp would be to um, eventually take out my Dark Sea Star, and then use the Light Victoria. Um, not as leader, use the Light Mona leader because you know she has Light leader. But then the Light Victoria also has a attack leader if I can get get her as a variant. Um, I could use her leader and then two Light Monas. Dark July. That could be pretty fast. I mean, I would I would use these two, but I I don't have the gems for them. I don't have any. I don't have any uh any more attack gems to spare for them. Like I, I can spare defense gems for like defense or HP gems for my aggressors and tanks. Um, but all my attack gems are going to like these monsters, the ones are that are on my dragons team. So I I can't really give the um other attackers that I have left over my good gems. By the way, what the heck is? Right, I need to I need to sell some of those. It's called protection set. All right, let's let's open a few eggs and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if my light dark luck still is is gonna keep going. It's pretty crazy now that I think about it, cause I I only do a few summons with like these light dark eggs. I think in my last like three summons, I've gotten I've gotten lightnings, which is pretty. Pretty uh, pretty amazing. Nope, nothing. I don't know why I have this green egg. I think I bought it from the shop. I normally don't buy these. It's not really worth it. Um, but I, I don't know. I was feeling lucky, so I, I just bought it. You know, if I get a cult, it would be really good too. Damn it, it's a stupid Cosmo. Alright, let's use my random monsters to do some rebirth. Maybe I'll, I'll get that Medusa today. And then I can possibly start using it as well. I don't think she's going to do too well if I just use her for B10, like the Light Medusa. Um, but she's going to be a pretty good monster for, for like arena offense and stuff, because she has 100% stun. And she's got that nice, uh, nice uh, second skill that that basically allows her to nuke hard against any element. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to six star. Um, I'm obviously going to get her to evil three first, like that's probably number one priority. And then after that, I'm probably going to start working on some other. Maybe I should just raise my... How many other Victorias do I have? I don't have many. I need to, I need to fuse a few more. Um, if I get Victoria... O2... How much defense would she get? At evil 2 max level. Wait. Level 60. 2,600, that's actually pretty high. Dang, but at evil 3 is like 3,200, which is like much, much higher. Um, I can probably complete the fusion for one more Victoria, and then just get her to evil 2, and then 6 star her, and... Um, I probably won't be able to get her as a as a variant, but I can use always use the light Monas variant leader skill, which is pretty much the same thing. It it only gives attack lead to to light monsters, but it, I mean they're all light monsters, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter. All my attackers, everyone except for the Dark July that I'll, I'm using will be um are going to be light, and then. How much does the Cosmo heal? I'm actually quite curious. You like it could actually work. Like I can actually use the light Cosmo. 
He gives crit leader. He has 30k attack. Really, really low defense though. He's only a 3 star. His first skill heals for 10% of his max HP if he if he crits. So if I can get him to around 60k, then technically he would be healing more than my July. The problem is he's he might die himself because he's light. So I, I think it's still more more uh, it's safer to use my use my dark July because she's dark, so the other monsters won't be attacking her. And then I'll have three light monsters taking the damage, like three light defense aggressors taking the damage, so it shouldn't, shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll definitely do that. I, I, I should probably start raising my light Victoria, even if I can only use her at evil two. I think she's still going to be pretty decent. Like I don't, because she's not going to be the only light monster tanking, so it, it doesn't really matter. And then I can just have three aggressors. Um, Plus my, plus my Dark July and should be definitely definitely be faster than the whatever comp I'm running right now. But maybe with just two Light Monas, I could just use my Dark Sea Star. I mean they're they're kind of the same, but then she's also tankier. Um, she's light, so she's probably going to do more damage to Dark monsters. So I think all in all, she's probably still better than my Dark Sea Star for. For um, Golem Speed 10. Yeah, I think I think that's a pretty good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her to Evil 3, and then I'm going to start raising my Light Victoria. And um, no, wait, 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 no, no. Before I raise my Light Victoria, I'm going to get the other Light Mona to to Evil 3 um, and max level, like six stars max level as well. And then I'll raise this, raise her. I'll fuse one more Victoria, get her to Evil 2, raise her to. Six stars max level, and if I happen to get a variant fusion, then it'll be it'll be pretty nice. She'll be a variant. If not, then I can just use the light Mona's leader skill. It's pretty much the same thing, and that will pretty much be my new B10 team. Um, yeah, I think I think that works because I think technically if I use these two, it'll be better. But the the problem is I don't have enough um, attack gems to make them work. So what I need to do is I need to use like you know defense aggressors and stuff. It's the only, it's the only gems I can spare. It's like I don't I don't have any more attack gems that I can use for these these monsters. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's it for today's video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.